watching this video for your sun, moon, rising sign, or Venus sign, um, but the moon's going to resonate the best for you most likely, so if you don't know your moon sign, check in the description box below and there's a link there that'll help you figure out what that is. You can also be watching this if your partner or ex-partner is of this sign, and a good idea is that sometimes when these videos come out right away, they're gonna resonate right away and sometimes they're not. So yes, a personal reading is going to give you the most accurate information, but also sometimes these energies don't click with us because these things haven't happened yet. They're going to happen mid-November or they're gonna happen at the end of November. So keep that in mind too. You could bookmark it, come back to it, or you could just say fuck it all, I don't like this bitch. That's your prerogative. Um, but let's just get started with your video. Hi Leo. So, Leo singles, generally what's your situation in November? They're like, all right, so not really making deep bonds and connections. And, you know, like you're kind of protecting yourself from that. And it's like, you might be starting to think about talking to people, but you're a little bit shut down, like a little bit walls up because you don't, maybe don't want to get hurt. Maybe you don't like the idea of committing. Um, so what is it that you want in the month of November? Well, you want to shift your perspective. You want to feel different about it. But right now you're just like a little bit bummed out. Like somebody from the past hurt you and maybe you're just not over it. So what is it that you need? They're like, well, really what you need to focus on is probably work stuff, organization, keep your mind off of it. They say that maybe, you know, like casual talking to people here and there, good idea. But maybe in the month of November, it's just not the month. For you. Um, they say focus on other things that make you happy, especially if you have children. Pay a lot of attention to them because there's a lot of joy there. Um, so how are you going to get basically what you need and what you want? And they say in the month of November, um, like this time for introspection or like working on other things, not really going out there and starting conversations with new people is fine. Like sure, you don't want to be single forever. But you just, right now, in the month of November, you might have a lot of stuff going on. Um, you might have a lot of stuff going on mentally, emotionally, or actual stuff going on, and you're just maybe not up for the challenge because, you know what, at the end of the day, it's going to make you kind of bitchy. Let's be real here. Um, Leo's at their best, not that way. But Leo's at their worst can be, right? You're a lion. Just, Arr! I can say that because I'm a Leo. <laughs> okay, so, whoa. So they're like, but look. Like, we don't want to pick on you, okay? You have tact, you have strength, you're going to get through this. There's infinite possibilities for happiness. It's just, you know, the month of November is like, hey, let's not make any big decisions here. Because if we do, we might be making the wrong ones. We might need to later then question our motives as to why we got involved with the people that we did in the month of November. So, what is it that you need to release? And they're like, um, this idea that you're out of control, like that you can't control a lot of the things in your life, because you know what, you kind of can. You really can, including um, deciding to be happy. Easier said than done. It sounds like bullshit, but it's not bullshit, I promise. So um, what they're saying is also like being really cautious with the things that are important to you, that you love, holding them close, keeping an eye on them important in November. If you do that, things are going to turn, you know, in your favor. You're going to have a lot of good luck with money. You're going to have great ideas. You're going to make new friends. You're even going to find love. So they're like really, really focused on that. And so a good way to do this is gratitude journaling, like the things that are basic, you know, that you are um, thankful for. And I'm not talking like basic bitch shit, like, Oh, I'm thankful for Starbucks. I'm thankful for Ugg boots. I'm thankful for leggings. I mean, sure, if you want more leggings, Starbucks, and whatever. But you already have that shit. So what I'm talking about is, like, things like oxygen, um, you know, phone calls from friends, internet, 
Um, free advice, even when it sucks. Uh, jokes, memes. I'm thankful for memes. I write that in my gratitude journal all the time because it totally changes my mood. So, basic stuff. Um, what's your overall lesson? They're like, okay, so you've kind of learned, right? Like you don't want to be attached to things that are toxic. Good. Awesome. But, you know, in trying to protect yourself from those kind of energies happening again, we might also be resisting some good things. And so we need to understand, you know, that like everyone has their own truth. This is a little bit like Capricorn's reading. And they have their own experience and their own challenges. And, you know, um, that's okay. Like if somebody does something different or their motivation is different than ours, eh, yeah, I mean, it's okay. Live and let live, yeah? Okay. So for Leo couples, what is the general situation in November? We got your relationship is strong so long as you think before you speak. <laughs> you don't have to go in and like do a lot of introspection or anything like that. But um, it does look like some of you are, you know, wanting more than what you have. So that might mean for some of you, you're going to walk away from your relationship. For others of you, it's you're going to walk away from a certain way that you thought about the relationship or you felt about the relationship and try to improve it. Now, what is it that you need to keep doing in regards to your relationship in the month of November? And they're like, keep thinking about what it is that you want and focusing on that because you're defining it into reality. It's actually going to be a little bit easier than you anticipated. So, you know, if there's things that you desire for your relationship, but you're like, oh, I don't want to bring it up because it's going to be really hard. It's actually going to be much easier than you think. But these are things that you don't even need to actually talk about. Like, you can make little changes in your relationship to make it better and then your partner just like catches on and they're like, wow, you're being really nice. You're being really kind and caring. And then without even saying anything, all of a sudden starts to appreciate you more, starts to do little things for you. Um, for a lot of you, this is going to be a really good month where you don't, you know, sometimes we feel like when we're in relationships that we are entirely like alone in the relationship. Like we go have a day, but like, uh, we're not really bonded. This month might be different for you if you make those little efforts. Okay. So what is it that you need to stop doing in the month of November? And they're like, <laughs> if you're in a relationship with somebody that you care about and you keep threatening to leave, they're like, you need to stop thinking that way. Um, because you have all the information this might be a very specific me message for one person. They're like, you have all the information in front of you, right? Like, so what you need to know about your partner, you already know. So if you think that they're hiding something from you, they're not. Um, you've already found out or you already have this like inner knowing. And so it's like right now, it's about planting seeds to cultivate the relationship if you decide you want to stay in it. If you want to leave, okay, bye. You know, start talking to other people. Cultivate those relationships is kind of what it's saying. I'm not advocating cheating here. But what I'm saying is like, start thinking about how things would look, okay? Now, for um, for couples, Leos, just in general, what is your advice? Let's see what we get. And this is gonna go two ways. So, when we were talking about those of you who are like, oh man, like I just can't do this anymore. <laughs> we're going to start there and then we're going to talk to the rest of you who know that you want to stay in this relationship, okay? So for those of you who are thinking about leaving your partner, they're like, you know what? You're right. It's not for the highest good. They're not your soulmate. Bye, bitch, right? Um, they're like, so the lesson is really in learning to trust your inner voice and your guidance there, like not to have this fear of walking away because your inner voice is always going to guide you correctly. It's not always going to be easy, but it's going to be the right thing. You're going to end up on the right path. So what they're saying, this is all about the fear chakra. Okay. So we've got our third eye chakra, our inner knowing, like our messages from spirit. And then we've got our fear is, which is kind of like, which fucks us up from being able to do this. And so what they're saying with this one is like, I, my challenge is um, to use this affirmation. I release any beliefs that no longer assist my soul's growth. So whatever kind of beliefs you have, like, oh, well, it'll be hard for me to be on my own because of this, or I can't leave now because of this. Bullshit. Follow your gut instincts. Okay. So 
Now, for the rest of you who are planning to stay, they're like, you know what? Like, no, no changes are really needed as far as your general advice goes. Kind of focus on your partner, but not like on what they're doing. Like, don't nitpick them. But, you know, pay them a little bit more attention um, as you're kind of working on things. Maybe you're working on holiday planning, like getting your menu for Thanksgiving ready, getting your house clean, like that kind of a thing. Focus on work. They're like, because... Um, <laughs> so what they basically want to say with that is like a little bit of attention to your partner is going to go a long way and maybe they're having a hard time paying you attention because they're busy it's their busy season something like that but what they're saying is like um, if you're feeling alone again this concept is coming up here in your relationship like remember that with loneliness and those feelings like you're never actually alone you can ask your spirit guides your angels to um, help you to feel comforted and like remember that their presence is there for you and they say like a good way to feel better is actually just to do a good deed for somebody else so that could be your partner that could be a stranger but they're like that'll help you to feel like more part of a community and um, it'll really just like boost your self-esteem you're gonna feel really good if you do so I love that um, and then for those of you who are in between What's your general situation? They say things don't change or um, move overnight, but you know, it's time to kind of speak your truth about how you're feeling. And you know, if it's like ultimatum time, like we get married or it's done, that'd be a little extreme because you're in an off again, off, on again, off again relationship. Or maybe because you are um, like, okay, we're gonna make this official or it's gonna be done. Um, it's kind of time for that, you know, but it's not like do it right away. It's kind of like, let's talk about it and then let's decide, but let's not decide immediately when we're heated. Make sense? Um, what is it that you need to keep doing and what do you need to stop doing? So like if you're having these feelings of um, paranoia, suspicion, and you're unhappy about it, they're like, typically, we're like, these are unhealthy feelings. Stop focusing on it, right? But they're like, they're there for a reason. So, <laughs> if, um, so they're like, you know, you don't have to, like, bring it up, like, really Leo-like, all confrontational and, like, in your face. But they're like, don't back down. Don't let them, like, like don't let them um, mess up your confidence about it. Like, don't let them make you doubt yourself is kind of what I was trying to say there. So your general advice on this or the lesson that you're learning, they're like, you know what? You're a being of love, and so you can release the negative energy but still not be an idiot and communicate because this is a communication chakra, your throat chakra, effectively what it is you're feeling. You don't have to have evidence. If it feels wrong, it is wrong, okay? So love and light and see you in December.